What is up guys, welcome back to the channel. As always, thanks for coming back. We really, really appreciate you guys. Um, so today's gonna be a little bit of a different video. The actual video that I had planned to upload today um, kind of fell through, <laughs> uh, mostly because I'm not ready to upload it. Um, I forgot to running a business, especially like a YouTube business. There's more to just filming the videos. Uh, there's the whole actual parts of the business where I have to get everything ready to ship and all that stuff. And I wasn't, I wasn't able to get all that stuff ready in time for you guys. So again, I really apologize. But next week's video is going to be all that. And we're going to have uh, three new items that are going to be going on the uh, store that you guys have been asking for. I don't want to leave you guys hanging. So I wanted to at least make a quick little video answering some questions that I get very regularly. Now, most of the questions are going to be about the uh, OFI Plus swap. So uh, let's start answering some of them. The first one is if you're using uh, stock OEM uh, springs, where do you locate them? And basically the way that I did it is you go from the front body mount to the leading edge on the coil bucket, which is basically right here. And you go 13 and a half inches from this edge to that edge. Nice and simple. Second question, how do you locate the radius arm bracket? Again, if you're using the OEM one, the stock 05 plus one. So super simple, just butt it up to your second uh, body mount right there. Just butt it up right up against it. And while we're here and talking about this um, bonus question, if I have a CF5, do I need an aftermarket cross member? Uh, so most likely, yes. If your CF5 has a cross member that comes out in the outside of this here and mounts like right over here, you do. Now I'll say that because while I was doing this whole swap, I was told that not all CF5s go out on the outside like that. Some, I guess, mount to the inside. So if you're lucky enough, they have a CF5 that mounts to the inside of the frame, you don't need it. But again, if you see that it comes out on the outside of the uh, frame, you will need it. I also get asked a lot if I sell them. Uh, unfortunately, at this moment, I don't. It's definitely one of the things that I want to offer to you guys. So that will be coming in the future. Okay. Uh, third question, what did I do for brake lines? And this is actually super simple. I actually did 05 through 07 brake lines, um, but you have to mount them a little bit weirdly. So this brake line is actually on the, it's the one that I have on the driver's side, but it would be the passenger side on the, on the, on the 05 or 07. I think it's 05 through 07 that these things came from. So you take it from the drive from the passenger side, you mount it on the driver's side. So you have your little junction bl uh, block right here. This is coming from your uh, master cylinder and it goes to your driver's side. It, hopefully I can get it, but yeah, it mounts right there. And then this line goes to your passenger side, which that is this one right here. And again, mounts right there, right there. Hopefully I got it. I, was able to secure them. I think that was actually an I think that was actually an existing hole on both sides. Um, they have with the, they come with this little like bracket right here. I uh, just cut it off right there, uh, just enough to where it leaves you a place to mount it securely. So that's the way that I did it. But again, like I said, it's just a regular OEM brake line, and I believe it's from the 07, 05 through 07 Super Duty. I'll try and find it on Amazon and leave it linked down below. Um, that's actually one of the parts too that I'm hoping to have in the future for a like a whole complete kit, uh, my own line. So I'm trying to find a uh, a builder of lines that does um, DOT approved lines. So I want to make sure that if I sell you a brake line, it's a super important product. So whatever I sell to you guys, I want to make sure that it's you know DOT approved, that it's good quality. So I'm working on finding someone that will do that for me. Now the uh, fourth question is sway bars. Am I running sway bars? Yes. So yes, I'm running the uh, front sway bar using my bracket. You won't be able to just mount the sway bar straight to the frame. You will need some sort of bracket. Again, if you guys would like to support the channel, I saw, I saw the sway bar brackets and the track bar brackets for the swap. Um, <laughs> I keep pushing this back because I keep getting more projects and keep getting busy in the garage. But hopefully next week I can pull the uh, single cap back in the garage and finish the rest of the kit. Uh, because right now all I offer, all I offer is the um, sway bar bracket and the track bar bracket, and I also have the yeah, coil bucket spacers for the 08 plus uh, coil buckets. But anyways, oh, uh, brake lines too. I forgot about the rear. So with the rear, the way that I did it is right here is where your um, your uh, brake line comes from the frame to your uh, axle, and I basically just have. And hopefully I can get this in camera, but. 
I have an adapter fitting right over here and that basically adapts the uh, the OBS to the OFI Plus line. I don't remember off the top of my head what uh, size line that was but what I do remember is that um, one of the OBS lines that came off the axle was the same size as that line coming from the uh, from the frame. So what I did is I took that line and then I took the line coming from the 05, well, mine's an 08 from the 08 axle to my local um, fitting shop. And I just told the guy that I needed a line to adapt those two lines together and he immediately knew, knew where it was. If you guys have a good shop that carries fittings or like a hydraulic shop, anything like that, take them, those two lines, and they'll be able to help, help you out. Okay, so I believe that was like four questions and I'm also at 4% battery left. So I'm gonna make this last one real quick. Uh, when am I painting the uh, single cab? Um, that is also coming soon. So my plan is to finish the axle kit, have it parked in here, finish the axle kit. As soon as I'm done with the axle kit, I'm gonna paint it. So again, that is coming very, very soon. Kind of along those same lines of why uh, I haven't painted it or why it's two different colors is because the uh, original box that was that came with this truck was completely beat up. Um, it had dents all over the uh, the bed. The tailgate was all messed up, and basically every every seam like this on the box was broken, was cracked, and, and it was literally being held together with uh, self tappers. I found this box at a killer deal. Like it is absolutely fresh mints, and I don't think I even paid. I think I paid like. 800 bucks for it if that I don't know it was a while ago that I bought it but it was I, I got it really cheap and it was obviously the whole box tailgate lights bumper everything and it was already bedlined and everything I got the deal and I couldn't couldn't pass it up so I bought it thinking that I was gonna paint it thinking that I was gonna get the truck painted uh, really quick, quickly but just things kind of didn't happen that way for me uh, but again now I'm ready to paint it like I said I'm gonna go ahead get the axle kits done and then I'm gonna paint the truck Okay guys, so a little bit of a different video, like I said, I wasn't going to post anything today, uh, just just look, just because like I said, I wasn't ready to release the video that I was going to post today, but like I said, last next week, we'll get that video uh, up as well as all the product. And of course, the battery just died, so uh, if you like this video, <laughs> give it a huge uh, thumbs up, leave any questions down below. If you want to do an actual Q&A with me, um, leave me questions down below or DM, DM them to my uh, Instagram or send me an email. Um, I I've been thinking about doing an actual Q&A video for a while, so if that's something you want to see, again, leave your questions down below. And uh, yeah, again, leave a like, leave any comments down below. Don't forget to subscribe, and uh, we'll see you for the next one.